It's been a decade since gamers met Sam Fisher for the first time. The third echelon agent has had the lead role in six Tom Clancy adventures, with him being both a heroic undercover agent and a renegade. Let's zoom in on the history of Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. What happens next is up to you. In 2002, players met Sam Fisher on the first Xbox and PC. He's a highly trained operative working in secret for an anti-terrorism unit. For the first game, Tom Clancy objected to the use of trifocal goggles. But in the end, he approved. This gave Fisher the most recognizable feature, three green lights. The first Splinter Cell was a blueprint for the rest of the series. Gameplay relied for a big part on sneaking in the dark, taking down enemies silently, and only using your ammunition when necessary. After winning several prizes and selling more than 3 million copies, the adventures of Sam Fisher needed to continue. Oh my God, terrorists! Two years later, Ubisoft published Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. Even without changing the formula of the game, it was still a success, selling approximately 3 million units. Laser sight was added to the gun, so shooting accuracy would be improved. The biggest addition to the game was a multiplayer mode in which mercenaries competed against sneaking spies. Ubisoft was on a roll and gamers wanted more adventures of secret agent Sam Fisher. My name is Sam Fisher and I am a Splinter Cell. With the release of Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory in 2005, it was the first time players needed to remain silent while sneaking in the dark. Chaos Theory also meant the debut of the cooperative game mode in which players could work together in the fight for terrorism. For many gamers, this was the best Splinter Cell yet. In 2005, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent made its debut on the next generation Xbox 360. After hearing about the death of his daughter, Fisher went undercover in a terrorist organization. They say if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Decisions well, in the game influenced your reputation with the American government and the terrorists. In early 2006, Ubisoft released one Splinter Cell game that shall not be named. Tell me what I want to know, and I'll let you live. Okay, it's Splinter Cell Essentials for PlayStation Portable. The worst received game in the series so far. The game didn't run smoothly on the PSP, and the controls were clunky. After that, everything went dark. No, really dark. It took the series almost four years to make a comeback. The next step was not a story of an anti-terrorism hero. Tom Clancy's splinter cell conviction makes Sam Fisher an enemy of the state. In conviction, the former secret agent discovers somebody killed his daughter, and he is out for vengeance. Meanwhile, agents from the third echelon and NSA are trying to stop Sam. Without access to high-tech gadgets, this was the first game in the series that relies for a big part on hand-to-hand -hand combat. Smart features like the last known location that could be used to trick enemies were really cool. A special mark and execute feature allowed a fast and easy way to gun down multiple baddies. Bang! Eat that! Splinter Cell Conviction sold more than 2 million copies, but for some business reason was not released on PlayStation 3. With the launch of the Nintendo 3DS, a remake of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory was released as Splinter Cell 3D. But as heroic as Sam Fisher is, he couldn't save this game from being mediocre. At the end of 2011, the Splinter Cell series finally made its debut on PlayStation 3. But it was not a new game. Ubisoft published a high-definition remake of the first three games in the series. Maybe this will lead to future Splinter Cell games being released on PlayStation 3. Nobody more. Hands in the Jade Raymond and her team at Ubisoft Toronto are working on a new Splinter Cell game. Its rumored title is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Retribution, but Ubisoft has not announced the game yet. Let's hope Fisher will be back with a vengeance. I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening, Mr. 
Fisher. I used to work here.